I'm Nilushi and I'm an analyst from ID Tech X. Today we're speaking to Cluster Imaging. So who are we speaking to here? Uh, my name is Semyon Nissenzor and I'm founder, founder of Cluster Imaging. We are, have computing uh, depths, accurate depths using multiple cameras. And uh, this, uh, we developed two prototypes. One is for DSLR, another is Mini, which we do video. And this will be used uh, for automotive. It could be also used for factory automation and for security. Our target is automotive, and we are uh, better in terms of resolutions and lidars and radars and much cheaper. Okay, that's really excellent. Yes. So I have a couple of questions about this product. So are you using a standard uh, stereo vision uh, strategy to get your 3D uh, images? We have our much better than stereo. We have multiple cameras. Stereo oh, is two cameras. Oh, I see, cameras. I see. Okay, how so, many cameras do you have? Uh, oh. Uh, this is number of cameras. Right, okay. So for our uh, image, you can show that. This is a depth map of uh, we shot several days ago, okay. uh, which uh, show distances. The color shows distances, and it's very accurate. And uh, it's uh, produce uh, video mm -hmm. uh, which supposed to put in the car. Okay. And it's either complement radars and radars, or it's better for medium distance on the street. We are up to 150 meters okay. uh, and it have average, uh, very accurate images. Okay, so you're proposing that in an autonomous vehicle you can have your camera system and perhaps complementing one, one or two other technologies. Yes. You also mentioned that we could use something like this in an industrial vision situation. Yes. So what would we be using this for? Is this for high value components and you want a 3D, uh, precise 3D image of it? Is that uh, what? Uh, Basically, we create uh, precise 3D imaging, mm. and it could be for inspection. Yeah, it could be done in IR VR for robotic motion because we are much more accurate than existing technology because we have multiple cameras. Yeah, and uh, our advanced alg patented algorithms, okay. so we can produce very accurately the distance. So if you take a robot arm and move it, you yeah. need to exactly where you put it. Yeah. We are doing much better than anybody else. Okay, so if, if we are using this for an inspection application, yes. is this something we could mount onto a production line or would this be more to, uh, aimed at testing and prototyping at small uh, scale? Anywhere, 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 whenever you can use the distance, it's fine. Right, okay. It also can be used for security applications. The same as automotive. Okay. We need to put, uh, this is a regular uh, sensors, but we can, when uh, we are planning for next industrial prototype with automotive grade uh, cameras, okay. which can do day and night all the time. And for security, it will be very good because for security, important to get rid of false positive. Mm -hmm. Since we know the distance, tra big truck far away is not a problem. Right. Or w cat waving uh, tail near the camera is also not a problem. We just go to right distance. Okay. So, but our main target at this moment is uh, for automotive, autonomous driving. Okay. And uh, semi-autonomous. Autonomous will be long ago, but they still assistance. Yeah. Like, for example, our car, our system can be used very well for parking. Right okay. now you have nice images of parking, but you better have also distances. Mm. You know, just and to make yes, sure. Definitely. All right. And on the side, uh, the cars right now put multiple cameras on the side and front, on the back. And uh, we can uh, work with other guys uh, uh, in all of this and replace some of them or work together. For example, uh, radar is very good for all weather kind of things, but mm. it's very poor resolution. Yes. yes. And we have very good resolution, so we can complement. Yeah, it's, if it's fog and snow, maybe LiDAR will not work, and us work a little bit better than LiDAR, but very bad condition, radar will work. 
for LiDAR, LiDAR is good for a very long distance, but yeah. for medium distance we are much better. Okay, so what about the, the actual image processing software? Is that something you provide yourself or are you working in partnership with a, a specialist software developer? Uh, uh, we are doing our own software and we are using standard parts. Okay. Uh, right now we are using uh, PC and Android uh, devices, but uh, we are planning to develop industrial prototype using NVIDIA. Okay, excellent. So be part of the ecosystem in NVIDIA and can complement uh, all uh, other components, like you have a LiDAR or then you put point cloud and you can combine their information with our information. How many cameras do you